Hello, it's great to see you all again. And in this video, we will make a keychain with custom text and we will make the process repeatable, meaning that you can make several keychains with different text. Okay, so this is how it will look like, but we will start, of course, from scratch, file, new, design. Okay, now I press V on my keyboard and we have this uh, view right now. And then I will make a rectangle with size 100 by 30. So I will click this one, rectangle. And then 100 by 30. Okay, so we have this rectangle now. And then we will add rounded corner. So I'm using this one, the rounded, grid rounded corner tool. And then we will click here. And then move a little and type in four millimeters and it will become an eight millimeter diameter round and do the same thing here so click and then move a little and then type in four and of course these two also and this one okay sorry okay and then next we will add a hole for the chain so i will click this one circle and then click here and input four millimeters for the diameter of the hole and then we will click this one the offset curve and then double click here on this uh, outer rectangle so we will add thickness two millimeters and then also we will click still this offset curve active we will click this circle and add two millimeters okay so now we have this shape and then i will click this one the 3d mode or you can also press d on your keyboard and i will press control on my keyboard and then select this one this one and this one and then extrude by three millimeters okay so now we have the outer frame and then i click here and then extrude by two millimeters so we have this uh, as the master for the keychain okay now i will rename here and then wait press f2 and then rename as master plate okay and then now we will add text but unfortunately there are no specific tool in design spark mechanical to add text directly to solid but we can use this one the dimension tool and project tool to add text here so first let me click this one dimension and then i will click this line okay and it shows that it adds this annotation plane the rectangle with bluish edges okay and now i will click again on that line and it will show this as the dimension of the line and i will click here so it's about at the middle of this plane okay and we will use this text to add text to the keychain so to do that first to make it more easy to visualize we will move this annotation plane so do that let me click this one first select and then click here okay and then we will click move and move up by 20 millimeters okay so now we have this one as the keychain and this one is the annotation plane and now we will edit this text and to do that we can double click here and if it's still not showing a blinking cursor we can repeat again until it shows something like this okay and then type in the text so for example i will type in w3de studio okay and then we will move this text but to do that first i will click this one select and i can move this uh, around this uh, annotation plane and then I press V on my keyboard so we have this view and then we can place uh, specifically where and then um, 
we will adjust the size so i will click here and then uh, this is apparently only blinking cursor but it's not selecting all the text here so let me press ctrl a and it will select all this text and then right click and i can select the font that i want and also the size so in this case i will set the size as 10 meaning that the height of the text is 10 millimeters okay and then okay i will also uh, click this one the bold so it will have a bold uh, character okay and now we will project this text to this uh, keychain plane and to do that it's easy we just need to select the box that contain the text okay and then click project and it will automatically project to this surface and then after that you can press enter or click this one the check mark so now we have this text projected to this keychain but we will copy this keychain first so to do that let's uh, move from the project tool so i will click this one select or you can also press escape on the keyboard and then we will click this one master plate and then press ctrl c and then press ctrl v so now we have the copy and we can hide the first one okay and also hide the annotation plane and now we will work on this one so in this case let me press ctrl on my keyboard and then click here 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 and here and then pull and add one millimeter okay sorry one of it is not okay what happened so sometimes things like this happen and we need to check in detail what is happening so press v and we need to zoom in so apparently there's this small loop that makes it not working so to fix that i will click here press delete and click here press delete and then zoom out and click here and now i will pull again extrude by one millimeters and it's working okay next for the studio for these uh, letters i want to extrude cut and then uh, let me press control on my keyboard and then click s t u d i o and then click pull and cut okay now we have these holes and letters but there's a problem here as you can see that this solid is not attached to the main solid or to the keychain and that's not good so we have to uh, address that condition and let me click here and then press k or sketch mode okay and then i will click this one rectangle and i will add this shape to hold the solid to the main solid now let me click this one 3d mode and then I press control on my keyboard and then click here, here, here and here. And then we will pull up to this space. Okay, oh, now we have the shape. So sorry, let me make it more uh, clear. Press F, click here, press F, click here, press F, also here same thing okay now we have this keychain and if you want to make another one you can just uh, hide this one or rename this one let me rename this one first uh, w3d okay then i can hide this one and show the first one the master plate and also the annotation plane and we can clear out this uh, surface and make another projection with the same method so change the text and then project and then 
presenter. So for example, let me do one no, more projection. So let's delete this one first. Okay, I just select them all and then press F. Okay, now I will change the text. Good day. Okay. And press V so we have a top view, a better uh, position for the text. And then we can project it. Click here and then project. And press or click this one. Okay. Now we can make another uh, keychain with different text and copy this one and so on. The process will repeat as needed. Okay, that's all for now. If you like this video, then don't forget to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video. Good day. Bye.